This content was produced prior to the recent SAG after strike authorization. All right, we're let's back. make a show. We're let's make a, a podcast, Tell friends. We're back with God another bless. episode of the pod, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Turn up. And we are going to be exploring which episode? I believe Computer it is. Computer Labs. Computer Labs. Season one, episode of, you know, uh, part eight. one. Eight or nine, eight. part one. Eight, part one, Computer Labs. All right, here's the overview. Yep. Uh, first, I want to say this episode felt like like some peak Neds. This gold. felt like from like start peak to peak ripeness. This, this was peak ripeness. This was... Yeah. Heat. This was Ned's heat. This was yeah. hot Ned's. I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I didn't watch. I it. I know you didn't. Ooh. I was you doing really a hundred things and was trying I, to be absurd. I, I didn't watch. I, it was, I didn't watch episode this where you and oh, yeah, yeah, you guys dressed as Lisa. Zemo it's where and you head. dress as Zemo and I dress as Coconut Head and we to do like a movie. Tri- All right, so I'm gonna give exactly. the overview. But this episode is hot. If you have not watched it at home, just I'll watch. Just peep this one. It's. I loved it from start to finish. This was a fun one too because all of our stories were linked. It mm-hmm. wasn't like cookies solving his thing, and we all had the same problem, and it all had to do with the computer lab. So really yeah. fun. So Ned, Mose, and Cookie all need help with the computer and the computer lab. Mm-hmm. Cookie is relying way too much on his computerness. Oh, right. The bullies shove him into the locker, and they break, break his computer, my computer my and he computer. literally doesn't know how to exist Function without it. Yeah. Right. Um, mm-hmm. uh, it's coming. Huge foreshadow. Yeah, yes. yeah, I know. Yeah. No, I know. It's so, for the times. So yeah. Moe's had her project on his computer that he needed to print and uh-huh. couldn't. So now we need to fix his computer in the computer lab to get your project. I spent you need to do your project because you were. I spent the whole time procrastinating, which I did in real life, and uh-huh. needed to last minute do a project in the computer lab. We all are vying for like one seat in the computer lab, and because we're fighting over it, uh, Mr. Quest, Quest. Dave Gruber Allen, Mm. kicks us out of the computer lab, so we are going to take Coconut Head and Lisa Zemo's sign up, but we have to dress like them to get in there. Dude, it was. I feel like Rachel and I would look alike in that thing too. No, dude, but I loved that they actually showed the back of Rachel and Rob walking up, and then they cut to this reveal of, "Hey, it's this Lindsay, big, super tall Lindsay." And yep. Devin is co- yeah, it was awesome. So good, <laughs> and we do dude. like this like movie trailer thing, and then so while we're doing that heist, uh, Lisa Zemo is teaching. Uh, yes. Newborn baby cookie without computers. I, like, how to live? Oh my god! In the oh, world. she says, "Smell the flowers," right? Yes. yes. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, she had this line. It's corn. You like you. corn? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> it's god corn. You like corn? I, I eat it. A- Wait, no. She she feeds it to me. And I eat it, just and then I just eat oh, it with. <laughs> no- I mean, this was so silly. Um, and so Quest finds out um that. We are them, and we like run out, and basically uh, plugging in uh, Cookie's computer into the computer lab breaks it. Oh no, it was Quest. It was actually it was Quest. Quest. He was trying chat. to like video chat with all these like people on his computer, and that's what caused the um, the that malfunction. Crash. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, and then wow. so Cookie has to come back. He has to give up his present existing, staring at the clouds, hippie Away life, from technology, and yeah. needs to come back to technology to save the day in the computer lab and get your. Uh, project get my yeah the whole thing um but it was uh it was beautiful and then at the very end mr quest uh doesn't want mr right Meshack in the computer lab oh, yeah. and i'm like don't worry i got you and the end of the episode is Meshack in the coconut head wig like uh-huh. being disguised as coco playing video games on the computer i you must have see this. Yes. A memory yes. of, of, of him yes, in the of wig. In of the him wig. in the wig. Going, of him in the wig. And he's like looking away from Quest. <laughs> uh, incredible. So, yeah, oh this was, this was a hot So episode. I missed yeah. a, yeah. yeah. You missed a spicy one. You wow. missed a, like a real, this I'm going to go back and watch declassified. it. Yeah. Why is it still like hard for, not hard for me to watch? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I'm more connected to you guys here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, then the actual watching. Yeah, this is so interesting. There is a strange, I don't know why it's a melancholy. Like, it's not a melancholy. It's just Mm. not a light feeling when I go to watch it. Mm. I don't know why. But even though it's a light feeling in our lives, I don't know why. This one, I think, would bring you joy. Bring me a lot of joy. Because sometimes I don't only want to watch them. But this one, I was like... Oh, this is all so no. silly. Like, yeah. so silly. Silly, silly but entertaining time. and just well written. I was like, this is Yeah, the so whole bad. arc of everything was, yeah. was great. Yeah, the arc was awesome. Yeah, oh, um, cool. So much fun. Oh. Yeah, this was our first time seeing Mr. Quest. He was great. 
I was going to ask us about our own personal like experiences in computer labs or oh, computer cool. class, but I I wanted to. Well, it. No, that was the strange thing about watching this is like I'm like I don't even know what com- I don't even know what it must be like for kids in school now. I don't know oh, if this if is they've got a computer a in their pocket, they might have a laptop now. Like. This was right, still but like, did you guys have like did, computer I did, class? I, did computer I, I had computer lab class in did? computer yeah. lab before you, I even moved. Do you remember those it was a big see-through Apple, Apple joints? Yes. Yeah, it was like see-through. Like you could see the back E-Mac of the computer. Or something. Oh, oh I'm I'm talking yeah. way before that. Look. Oh, well, before that too. Yeah. yeah. But that that, that I one is about. the right. Yeah, that, that, that was big in school. When the school got those, it was like, yeah. Was it early 2000s, like late 90s? Do you guys remember Chips Challenge? Chip Challenge, no, tell me about it. The computer game. Is it a program? Nope. Oh. And I've never been able to find it since, but it honestly, never heard of it. I, it is one of the highlights of my computer lab Chips society. Challenge. It was, oh, if anybody it's knows Chip's game. Challenge from back in the day, um, what about backyard let me know baseball? where I can find Anyone? it. Anyone? Backyard baseball? No. Yeah. Minesweeper? I played Minesweeper. I remember that. You guys remember Minesweeper? You I didn't really question. understand Minesweeper. What was even happening? Yeah, yeah. I really I didn't. Just, and it's I was pretty like, basic. They, they populate a map with things that you. <laughs> it's like it's pretty basic. You know, geniuses can do <laughs> complex things easily. Hey, I love that return. Okay. Ah, that's a rebuttal out of this world, guys. <laughs> yes. But yeah, Minesweeper, it was a dumb game, though, as I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> as I think about it. Um, um, but yeah. No, I just, I, I don't think I ever contact. I'm more of a solitaire person. Oh, because weren't they the, the same one. like game yep. pack? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that was it. It was Minesweeper <laughs> and Solitaire yeah. on every computer. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh! When did oh, my... Snake come into play? Was Snake ever? Oh. Oh. Snake was on the Nokia. Oh. He's on the Nokia. Oh. He's on the Nokia brick. I used to yeah. play that in audition. <laughs> Nokia brick, like the actual brand. I love it. Yeah, I the used to. Brick. I used to uh, play that like in audition, like waiting rooms. Uh, like my mom had the Nokia, and I'm like. My you got games game. on your phone. Give me, yeah. give me the games. Yeah, give me the games. Oh, Snake <laughs> is so simple and so good. Yeah, yeah, Snake is pretty entertaining. Okay, so in computer class, kind of unrelated, but I my little demon shell came out. And I will always, always have a secret from computer class Uh-oh. that I will keep. Hey. So there was this kid in my class named Brian Shaw, oh. and we weren't related, but obviously he was right next to me in line. He was in front of me. And so we sat next to each other for everything because we were always in alphabetical order. Loved Brian. I farted in computer class one time, and my response immediately, Brian! (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. And nobody (laughs) believed him. They all believed it was him. Nobody, but they all believed me. I love it. And he literally, I will never forget his look. He literally went, (laughs) Oh no. Oh, so no. that's a secret. I'm sorry, Brian. I'm not even <sighs> sure you remember that, but I will never forget it because I there was a couple times in my childhood where I was like, I know this is wrong, but I'm not changing it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes it happens like that. I yeah. love it. Oh god. Damn. Avoid your own shame yep. and force it on someone else. And pin it on someone. <laughs> and he knows he didn't fart. That's He's the look. Like, <laughs> yeah, the look is. <laughs> we no, both I know didn't. what's happening. Wait, here. no. So he was close enough to know that you farted. He heard you. Oh, babe, fart. we were sitting. <laughs> oh, I mean, he knew you did it. Oh. Looked at you, chose not to expose you. <laughs> you turned it on him. I didn't even look and see what he was doing because immediately it was Brian. <laughs> oh God! Didn't even look to him. <sighs> Oh, that's so, so good. You know, <laughs> that is <laughs> mischief. <laughs> that is just me. Mischief. Yeah. Mischief for Brian. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Wow. Brian, you remember. Brian yeah. Shaw. You know what you did, Brian. Ass boy. <laughs> yep, ass boy. Farter. Fart boy. They, they called him that for the rest <laughs> yeah, of Yeah, for real. Timmy Everybody too, regarded too. him as, you know. The uh, smelly guy. kid. Yeah, I want to know what he told his friends in secret. He probably didn't even think about it. Boys don't really care about farts, but probably being said in front of the whole Being class. called no, out yeah. doesn't yeah, no. feel great. Right? Yeah. 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 You ruined <laughs> I didn't even that look man. at him and be like. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You're just like, oh, disgusting. You pig. Man. I love it, Lindsay. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, and then when you got to, ugh, and then when you got to like um, high school, my first, I only went to like one semester at Notre Dame, but like you had to use computers to do all those graphing projects and shit. Oh, I know nothing about that. And Texas it was Instruments awful. Must be on the calculator, but. I mean, uh, oh, it no, wasn't you're talking that. about I'm the talking, statistics type yeah, stuff. Gotcha, like, yeah, like it was like, I don't even remember what class I was in, but I remember I had to finish the reports in plotting yeah, the, yeah. in pictures on mm-hmm. a computer yeah. you know what I mean in like yeah. shapes and I was like I can hate this yeah I would dang. never want a career in tech not like this is awful dang. awful and meanwhile it became a 
It's a huge very career. huge career yeah, now. For sure, for sure. That Coding, is, knowing how to actually yeah. compute. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just big. not me, dude. It's yeah, just I'm not, like the, I'm the, not in the that. number. Data the science? No, I, I kind of did fall in love with data science. I couldn't You learned see some that coding, right? Yeah, yeah I, went, I took like a Harvard course Shush. in like Python. Yeah. What's Python the big one that's C? Nah, like there's a few different coding languages, right? Yeah. And like what's I mean, the like prominent Pi one now? Is Python Python's it? Python's huge. Pretty big? Yeah, yeah. You, you can get a lot done with Python. JavaScript, of course, if you're in browser-based stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that is Python incredible C. that you took a yeah a class on that. It's, That's amazing. It's detailed, but you will un you will find that it's not so ridiculous. And guys, Chat GPT can literally do any type of coding for you now. That's what's crazy. I mean, if if you can wrap your head around a concept or of something that you want to happen on a screen, you can code it out. It just really takes you sitting there thinking it through. And then you can make it happen. Now, there are a lot of errors that you can uh, make as well because computers are like, whatever information you give me, I am going to return exactly what you asked me to do. Right. So if you if drop that quotation, if you drop that um, parentheses, then, you know, it's going to be does not compute. So you have to go through and be meticulous about finding it. But now there are so many um, apps and add-ons that can identify human errors and you can acknowledge, hey, this is what you meant to uh, ask of me. Mm -hmm. You foolish human. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier these days. Yeah. But you're, Matplotlib, plotting things and graphing them. It's, yeah. Your eyes look like mine. Uh, my roommate is a fucking coder. And, and Daniel oh, yeah. and him can rap. You know, they could talk about it. And like, <laughs> and Tyler talks about it often to me. Like, and he's like talking kind of base level I'm... ideas about coding. And you do what I do, which is like, I'm like, yeah. I, uh, I see I, your passion, I, I, I observe, and I I hear you saying it. words, and I wish I knew what they meant <sighs> together, but yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Dang. But it, it's all just No, no, but Daniel, you, do you, yeah. you did break it down in a way that I did oh, yeah. understand that yeah. and, like, appreciate that, but yeah. I'm also just, like... Yep. Yeah. That interest is wild. That that would be over, like so of interest. Dude, over <sighs> like your twenties, like I feel like you you kind of picked up a lot Not of different like interest. base levels on a lot yeah. of skills, like. You got coding, I mean, linguistics. I know you got into, like, finance and stock trading and stuff. Like, every couple of years, Daniel is like, I'm kind of learning this. It's I so try to, cool, I, man. I try to be a lifelong learner. You're an learner. active yeah. learner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys, too. You guys yeah. always surprise yeah. me with the with the stuff you can just pull yeah. out. And I'm like, yo, yeah. you guys are well-versed. Yeah, it is, pick up different uh, Yeah, different it, is, it is just wild where people's, like, interests lie yeah. and mm -hmm. just how far apart that is, but how, like, eloquently, like, you speak on it. And I, oh. you know, and I know that you... I don't know. Yeah, it's just really it's interesting. Kind of why it's crazy. Uh, right after high school, you're supposed to go to college and know what you want to study. Like in my twenties, I can pick what am I interested in. There's yeah. so many different avenues to go down and learn, and I was more equipped in my twenties to know what do I want to learn, what yeah. do I want to pick up. It's crazy to me. Like. I mean, at 18, I, I wouldn't have known fucking... To. I mean, I knew I wanted to act, but I wouldn't have known anything. That we no. expect... Yeah, I took a What break do you want to college. spend $200,000 on learning? Like... Yeah, what a decision to force on a, on a kid. Yeah. yeah. Know what you want to do for the rest of your life. Nope. Especially out of the Don't. climates, you know, in these public school systems, it's like, no, y'all aren't teaching me anything. Yeah. Worth. Like, how, how could I I don't I know, know anything about the world yet. How no. could I know? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. interesting. Yeah, if I could go back though, I'd do uh, I'd do film school because I really do love it, dude. Like, that, I love it. We went with Leo Gonzalez to that location. And Incredible. There's this high school uh, that has this program. Lindsay invited us out, and yeah, these it's, kids it's, are learning very detailed aspects of filmography. Like, I mean, and they're really breaking with it down. Film equipment with film and equipment. labs, and that. it's not even high school. That that school is sixth grade through twelfth. Like, it's like this hybrid school, and it's heavily focused on teaching not just cinematography and like breaking down film or theater and story acting. or theater act it's also breaking down like don't, gripping don't, oh, oh don't i'm sorry I, I hate to have done that yes no didn't mean to bring you guys down no no but, all, but, of us. <laughs> all of us but but like not it. just that like even <laughs> being a grip being in a like they're teaching yeah. all sides the of the science the science of epic. film mm -hmm. that that mm -hmm. uh voces voces yeah. up yeah. in yeah. sunland nice. up in the valley yeah. it's a very special school uh, yeah, they're te they're prepping kids to go truly into the film industry, them which the is real tight. real tools, and I mean, it's easier to have that conversation with your parents, like, hey, I want to go into entertainment, 
and this is this is like I know what I'm doing and I've been studying this and you guys can see the fruits of my labor like giving the kids the platform to actually expand their understanding of this craft and look at it you know logically from uh, from a and, scientific perspective well, and so understand beautiful. it's a viable industry life yeah. path industry career and passion like all of those together it's it's viable this is a life path with those yeah. with those uh, tools though because some people yes. can just oh i just want to act yeah no I no just, no uh, with the like perspective a more perspective yeah. you gain like you just get better at every job like yes. the, mm. the different place you go to learn aspects of yeah. all of it you're gonna appreciate yeah uh, um you know i was, I, I uh was recently filming and man i still love it so much like movie making tv making is the most collaborative process on earth it is so electric it's this crazy circus of different crafts people yeah. coming together to tell this story and solve a million problems a day because entropy is trying to tear the thing apart like i still when i'm on set i still feel this like I love this thing. We mm. we had a night shoot and I was sitting there like it was like midnight and I was kind of done filming waiting for them to finish and there's like this big crazy light, you know, doing the moonlight and the whole crew's there in front of me and it's cold and windy and I'm like sitting there in this jacket and I just had like this deep cellular sensation of like I fucking love this. Hey, like, oh, nice. like I love this. I'm oh. tired. It's cold. <laughs> We're all here making this movie. Like I love this thing, man. So still so cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, I I don't you even know. have words. Like yeah, there's you know not words feeling. to like. You know what I mean? I get I get it. Yeah. And I love that. I'm yeah. so yeah. And like it's, it's a secondhand. Just like I I get it. And yeah. I, oh, you know that. Anytime sensation. somebody can feel that, you're like. Get yes, it. I'm exactly. glad that. Get yeah, it. No, that's insane. It's so beautiful. And it's not just on the acting side. Like, we have a sweet job in it, but like, you know, the electric and the the gaffing crew, like, yeah. to e feel the bubble of is energy. Excited. Oh, or how are we going to do that? Yeah, there's yeah. this energy, man. The fact that all of these, like, people are working to their highest potential to reach the same endpoint, which mm -hmm. is just, and even if that looks different for people, the endpoint is the same intention of making it the best. And yes. people who, you know, great collaborators, which is like what I think Ned's was, um, you know, uh, yeah, whatever I was just yeah. saying. Yes. No, yeah. I, I, did, I did the collaboration, letting people shine with their, you know, technical know-how, skill set, and just also talent. Like, all those different... And that's what I think together. honoring people on set is. Like, how can you work to your best ability or even want to if you're not tr treated like an integral part of it? Of it, yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And so, like... Being on a high vibe and bringing that frequency to set is it, it. Not only does it help your project, it helps you. It helps you reach out to them. It helps and them. It's like such a beautiful like circuit of energy, closed circuit. For you know? sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because there is also there is also a lot of um, stakes. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of budgets being cut, problems to solve. Like mm -hmm. th you can get people can get kind of jaded or complainy on set. People can get kind of high, even adults can get kind of high school drama-y on set. Mm -hmm. And for me, when I'm there, I'm just like, that is so foolish. Like, look at our lives. Look where we are. This is amazing. None of us are in a <laughs> fucking office. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. we're here telling jokes to each other, yeah. making this story come to life. Like, don't lose sight of how yeah. epic this is. Yep, yeah. yep, And yep. applying this, like, I think about there are so many fields where, okay, you, you're studying the science of something and it's like, okay, how do I apply this in real life? And it does involve sitting behind some computer, you know, something drawing on, trying to do something, you know, technical and just boring. But here you get to apply the science that you've spent so much time on and the end result is this magical thing instead of just, oh, yeah, we made this robot that can lift up a car engine and put it inside of it. Not that, not that that's weak or anything like right. that, but movie making, like, it's just, it's just, it's such it's a special. special. Yeah, you get to industry. see, you go like, oh, I, I like did that costume or like, mm -hmm. oh, I remember how we lit that scene. Oh, it looks so right. Yeah. To make people sit back and say, wow. You yeah. Know, it's uh, it's well. wild. Electric. People who make films and movies, uh, TV, like uh, everybody watches for like a different reason. You know what I mean? Mm. And like, cause like I see it in a way as an actor, obviously. I, I mean, you could always just see behind the camera, behind the shot, that's a cool shot. You can you can imagine all the crew behind there, Yeah. right? Um, and yeah. Yeah, like imagining like how do they, how'd they get there? Yeah. How'd they do this? How'd they work on this? Yeah. There's certain roles I see in people where I'm like, 
Yeah. I want to ask them how they prepped for this. Right. Mm -hmm. There's um there's a monologue that uh, Daniel Kaluuya did at the end of uh, like a first season Black Mirror episode hmm. um, called like 10,000 10, bits or something. I don't know. Um, he does this monologue that is oh, what was his so name? powerful. It's so intense. It is, I mean, it is masterful. And I just want to ask him, like, how'd you do it, bud? <laughs> yeah. How'd you do this thing? Yeah. Uh, 10,000 Merits, that episode's called. Um, wait, wait, wait. Incredible. Which one was that? So the whole episode is like, the, it's like some kind of like, it's like some post whatever. It, it's a society where like all the lower class people, they live in these like boxes with no windows. <gasps> And they have to yes, ride the, the bike for the points. Bike. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's the yep. 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 They oh ride the treadmill for points. But yes. there's this talent yes. show that can yes. get you out. Uh -huh. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a big allegory yep. for life, right? Yep. 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 But the whole time, he he's like this very neutral character in this monotonous world. And he starts to feel hope through the love of this girl mm -hmm. and her beautiful ability to sing. And he lifts her up to success. And then <gasps> the judges, instead of giving her the success, they mm -hmm. turn her into like a fucking prostitute yeah and it breaks his spirit and he works really hard to get onto the show so he can tell them to fuck, fuck off yeah. and that monologue at the end it is i mean it's truly one of the most beautiful performances the I've one on stage the one where he's on stage yep. yeah, yeah 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 it is one of the most visceral i mean he's it, it's so you have to watch it, it is it is masterful acting i and, gotta rewatch. it and I, I, and I just wanted to i like that's something i watch and go like just as an actor, everyone's watching this and is moved, but I'm like, I want to know, like, what did you do? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? How'd you mm -hmm. work on it? Like, mm -hmm. break break it down for me. Mm -hmm. How do you get? How did you get there? Because it's different for everyone, right? Like, yeah. how the fuck do you get there? I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deep shit. Subste subtext and substitution are like, like, a hell of a drug. Like mm. those two things, mm -hmm. um, yeah. just change it, you yeah. know. And anybody, like, okay, so. A lot of my acting when I was younger, I would project out. Like my voice would be like all of it would kind of like be at the surface here. And now my acting is a little bit more like right here where I'm kind of just like sitting into the power and like that kind of a thing. So it's not so much energy like being built up, pushing out. It's more just like, what's up, you know? Well, and it's great because on yeah. film and TV, like Shows how can you. I let them in? Exactly. You know? How do I let and them that, in? And that anger worked for me as a kid, but breathing and just like letting it go and that's how you can kind of drop into your emotions if you're in this right frequency a frequency is just like a high energy that can allow you to do anything right can allow you to drop really low or like climb really high and um god it's so it's so incredible like this new way way of acting i just i feel like i've learned so much yeah yeah now when i put tapes up yeah it's just different yeah yeah, still love it so much. Yeah, it's so fun, mm -hmm. it's so fun working it out. Mm -hmm. How do I bring this thing to life? Yeah. And it's how do you prepare? How do you prepare for for the rest of your shoot? Oh yeah, um, yeah Rust guys, he just finished up Rust. Yeah, and so glad. Yeah, I mean, most of my job was done in the first filming. Most of my character mm. was done, but it it was it was about watching what we had already filmed. Um, right, getting, right. But getting how did my, you even getting like, my accent just, back in? Oh, right. And it was a lot of imagination work because it's a period piece and I'm like this hog farmer. So it's a lot of like, just kind of like finding, also body, like it was me like, like, like I work on a farm. It's like, what's my walk? Right. Like it, it was finding, what right. does it feel like in this time? You know what I mean? Right. So just a lot of time for me sitting with my imagination. What What is this for me? Where does it sit in me? Where's the voice? Where's the body and just getting it to a place where I feel like, yeah, here's where like here's where I'm creating from, you know? And mm -hmm. and that was in the first first part that you And and that was that to. was kind of the returning to it too, because my my there there's like I kind of have a, only a few major kind of talking scenes that really needed prep. Um and so I I worked those in a particular way, but like those we got done in the first round. So this second uh time I was there but didn't have a like I didn't have a lot of scene right, right, scenes right, to work right. on. It's you more like a... it's more like how do I embody this guy so that as I'm in and around all these scenes, I'm just there, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I don't you're know. Not, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, you're you're helping blend into the scenery. You're yeah. not sticking out like a sore thumb, yeah. like no, uh, <laughs> the horse. Hey, <laughs> partner. <laughs> yeah, no, for no. real. You look 
so crazy authentic. Like you are uh, straight dirty. Yeah, yeah, you look like a you dirty straight old man. Dirty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every day I shower and it's like dirty. <laughs> so fun, those man. those clothes looked like they were could be fused to you with the heat and the yeah, dust and the yeah. dirt they're and the sweat really and the well. leather. Therese, my amazing costume designer. She's so good, man. The Ooh, costumes wow. were epic. Lit. And uh, that was a lot for just one person. Like, you had, like, six, seven, ten pieces to your suit. Like, yeah, because, because, twelve. Because, because, like, it's the Old West. It's like yeah. you live on the road. Like, we're, yeah. we're on a journey on the road. Like, your closet's on your body. Yeah, you've got, you know, long johns, pants, shirts, suspenders, vest, road jacket. Like, was it hot. hot there, or was it a night? Like, what was the temperature No, we there? were, we on both films, New Mexico and Montana, uh, we're, we're, like, right in the sweet spot of oh, nice. not being too hot, not being too cold. Nice. We're right in that, in that money spot. Even with all those layers. Never, yeah, yeah. Never hot. Okay. Uh, when well, the sun occasionally was hot, but nah, no, nah, it was like the right. Both times we filmed was like the right season. And even if you were hot, that shit would just that add to your. That works. You know oh, I'm mean? grungy. I want to get a roll I'm like grungy. that. <laughs> it was Give cool. me one. <laughs> like, I I'm need a roll this. where just like. <laughs> Grungy, you just grunge. dirty. You just you, let it all yeah, hang give out. Give my Oscar performance. <laughs> dirty, couldn't recognize her. Dirty but, hooker. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. The dirt frees me even further. Sheesh. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to like project it so much. I can just be me. Hmm. People can already see that it's dirty. Yeah, it's real. I'm. I'm Is all- it? I don't know. Just my go to phrase. Yeah, no, that's real. That's real. <laughs> that's lit. Yeah, true that. that. True yeah. that. Turn up. Whatever. Facts. Turn up. Facts. Yeah. Uh, Turn up. I'm also learning to accept that on every project, I will always want more takes. I will always want more. Like every time I finish something and then that freedom's there, I'm like, oh, I could have done this. Yeah. Or I wish I did that. Or like this idea comes after. I don't know if you get Dude. that. I get it after every Dude, role. Dude, I, I used to look at things just through like an actor's lens and I yeah. Don't- I. No, I was just gonna say I really felt like you know you know I we need these actors to do a whole bunch of takes or uh, I need a bunch more takes. But since I've been directing, I sometimes hate it when an actor's like, "Ooh, ooh just one more time." I, like, we got it. We're not focusing on you when for I'm this. It's self taping. It's like else. you have no idea what I'm doing already. <laughs> Yeah, I, not that I've like ever ever done anything like you, but it's like, but, dude, like even my friends are like, I don't know, like, like another it take. Again. It's like, You're like no, no, you got what it. are you, you asking it. for? Just your you ego. It. The yes. show, is, the movie's not about you. Okay, yeah. this is the minuscule scene. Exactly, <laughs> you're but, gonna be cut out. But I feel what? like on a lot of productions, uh, definitely a lot that I've done, like it feels like. No one's looking at the perform. It feels like the no, performance is like not tough. even being cared about, and I'm like, hold on, like to yeah, a certain ahead, degree. Yeah, we got it, but like, mm-hmm. what if there's fucking getting it, it? No, 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 I hear you. Now, so getting it for sure, giving people the best performances is one way to look at it. And some directors are going for that. Yeah. But when, when these budgets are like happening around That's what things happens. too, That's it what ends happens. up being like, hey, the budgets dude, are like, I'm doing the best two takes, I can. got it, but we're here, done. Yeah. <laughs> and it's but, unfortunate. But here's it is unfortunate the deal that, that comes can. down to casting because there are plenty of oh. two takes. Great. Oh, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable <laughs> you know, actor. Where you just trust. You're just not bringing in the right people because yeah. you either settle or you're tired or it's somebody's niece or, or there was XYZ. no rehearsals too. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's another thing. Right. I'm like production. But a we don't good have actor comes in ready to fit themselves into the puzzle. But mm-hmm. I would love to be yeah. on like a Fincher project, even though everyone says they're grueling, where he does like 99. Takes I think that's scene. also bullshit. Ah. I, I would <laughs> I much. would love to see what it's like yeah. because everything I do is like two takes. You know, yeah. I'd love to be on I, recently, I, I, yeah. where it's yeah. like, hey, yeah. we're gonna do this so much. Like, yeah. cause I don't know, there's always discovery. Like that's why theater's amazing. You're always it's always new. Like you yeah. can discover a scene a million times, even though on a directing side, you might have it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. said, like, in those Fincher ones, like, show, Social Network, they shot that opening 10-minute scene, like, 99 times over two mm. days. And he said, he's like, we probably used, like, the 10th take or something, you know? Mm. But I don't know. The experience mm. of doing a scene again and again and again again. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear it, I mean, it's just the changing the uh, um, perspectives, you know? Because yeah. as an actor, I do want those extra takes, but then it's like there's a bigger thing that's happening sometimes, and it's like... I. I can't expect it anymore now. So when I do go back to being an actor, I'm not directing something. I'm like, I understand when they're like, I gotta oh, hit yeah, this. good stuff. Yep. Yeah, and I got to hit it. I never want extra takes. I used mm. to do that when I was younger. Mm. Now I'm like... You're more mature than Devin. Now you're... I know what I'm bringing <laughs> to the table, and I know that I was just asking for ego validation the other mm. times. I know what I've done. If there's something crucial that needs to be redone, that's different. Continuity type stuff. But... 
I stopped being so needy because, but then that's also when directors really stop directing actors because you can't really take your own bullshit all the time either. Mm-hmm. But I really try to come in with like hot, like hot with that energy, like yeah. whatever you're gonna like need, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I don't feel that way until I see the result, and then I'm like, ooh, that, that, that. Mm. But in the moment. I am so full, like I'm so happy with how the process works for me. I just don't care about the product and the rest of the routine that goes with the work, you know what I mean? But like the process of just creating it, I, I'm, I, I'm, the frequency doesn't allow me to second yeah, guess the prep, I'm there. Yeah, the release, yep, yeah. yeah. Yep, and yeah. even if, 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 if I'm getting notes, it's like, I don't know, it's, it, it doesn't stress me out. I, I love the story, it's like so epic, from uh, Interstellar, Chris mm-hmm. Nolan, Matthew McConaughey, they're setting up for the scene where McConaughey's character uh, has just gotten off the planet where basically he lost 20, 30 years of life on Earth. And so he's gonna be seeing the videos from his kids for the first time, you know, because of relativity or whatever. 30 years have gone by um, and he hasn't seen his kids. He's gonna see these videos of them for the first time. And the story goes that as they're setting up, um, you know, how it works in film guys is like, you're usually setting up the wide, the master first which is setting the entire scene, right? So you shoot a couple takes of the master, that sets the whole world. Here's where the world is of this scene. And then you shoot the close up. Like, okay, now we're here on an actor. Um, uh, Matthew McConaughey was prepping for that scene. They're setting up the master of him going to sit down and watch this video. And he hasn't watched what the other actors have actually filmed that he's gonna watch. Um, And he said he just, but it's so beautiful to have this trust. He said he walked up to Chris Nolan and just handed him a piece of paper that said "See you" on it, close up. And Mm -hmm. he just, he just handed it to him because he's like in his, he's got to really be in a space. Hands it to him. Chris Nolan looks at it, goes, "Mm, "Okay, Uh, let's set up for the close up." And the scene you see in the movie, which is one of the most beautiful performances I've ever seen, is that first take. And it's that first take. He opted to do the close-up instead of the master? Yes. Yes, got you, got you. Yes, because Matthew McConaughey, in his own craft, knew, I'm prepped. It's never going to be as good as it is in this this. first take because I'm going to watch this and respond fresh for the first time. Mm -hmm. And knew and had that trust. I don't think instead of the master, probably before the master. Yeah, yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's how you meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But oh, isn't that so, so like, oh, I love that story. All right, so Matthew McConaughey, that is, fuck yeah. And he has another story for me like that in True Detective. He has Go this, on. oh Incredible performance, my. Un- unreal. It, he's unreal. sitting in like the interrogation office or whatever, and he's yeah. just kind of like that, like, yep. and he, that slow pushing on him, I, mm. yeah, that was just like, I was like, damn, okay, you, you've you solidified yourself in that upper oh, echelon mm. of actor. Because oh. I know he's done rom-coms and bullshit, and like, but that's kind of who he is, you know what I mean? That true detective that role lightness. is master. Massive. Him and Woody, uh, that first season of True Detective, but I mean, masterful. Yeah. But, but his character just, is the, it's oof, the deepest, because yeah. he's a nihilist yeah. who mm. takes this whole fucking yeah. arc. Yeah, it's oh so God. gorgeous. He does so much incredible shit in yeah. the show. Did, you, did yeah. you watch that first season? Uh, pe- yeah, pieces. Okay, it's it's worth it. It's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. You'd, we'll see. You'd, we'll see. you'd resonate with a lot of um, Matthew McConaughey's character's worldview. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like this realist nihilist. I He's kind of like nothing matters Daniel's because of this. Ni- I know, but I'm telling you, the, Daniel. The, my w- first mind is I know nihilism, because because it's sure. written so well. Like oh, yeah. he, he lays out his point of views, and it's a strong argument. And I yeah. know you'd watch I, like. I, yeah, he's got points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to acknowledge that there is this base nihilism surrounding everything, everything. and then you have to Tell find yeah. the love and joy exactly. and magic. Exactly, around it. Yeah. exactly. That's why the the show's written so well. Like, hit you. His character makes a lot of sense. It's just like God, that's depressing. existentialism. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't doesn't Nietzsche say a lot about that? Nihil- about for nihilism sure, for and, sure, right? and, and existentialism. Like, yeah, like in the ret- he said, eternal God is return dead. and the. The eternal return to this moment. I don't know. I don't have all the quotes, but yeah, yeah I, I resonate <laughs> with No, the but the ideas. eternal return is kind of like this, com- I don't know. It's the re- eternal return, like this moment will recur forever in perpetuity. And therefore mm. means nothing. Yes. Mm. Is one of the outcomes you could take from it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If this is repeating forever in the universe, does it really? Is it? Is it? Yeah, and then I point. feel like the unbearable lightness of being it kind of flows. It. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it totally flows into that idea. Uh, I'm so glad you read that. Uh, people <laughs> at home, there's a great book uh, from the 80s called The Unbearable Lightness of Being, and it's just fucking gorgeous. Has he so written other out. stuff? He must. I'd like to read it because that book is written so beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. We should look. We should look up what else he got. Yeah. 
Real talk. Just check it out. It's beautiful. You want to be part of our book you club? You want to be a part Stay of our yeah, book club? Yeah, because I, I joined one of Devin's book clubs, and I've not shown up, up to do any you want of the me meetings. We've had great meetings. I can man. pass I you the... Scott calls me, and I got to... It's okay. Start, yeah. You're uninvited. <laughs> I've been kicked out of the book you club. You got to apply God, no. next time, but but we can have one. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. But, but ours is still the book next. Oh, and I'll the dude's club is still up. going. It's still going? Okay. Dude's club. Scott really wanted you to be there. I know. You really broke his heart. I'm sorry. Sorry, Scott. Scott Plimpton. Love you, man. We'll find time. We'll find time. I'll blend in. Computer, computer lab. Anything else about computers? <laughs> computer. Computer. La uh, computadora. Computer. Coordinador. Whoa, whoa. Well, this episode did foreshadow, like you said, like Cookie is relying fully on his yeah, uh, computers. Devices, yeah. But this was before we had cell oh. phones like this in our pocket. Like, yeah. I had a flip yeah. phone. I had a sidekick. <laughs> oh, it's at that time again. It's that time again. <laughs> Dude, I just, yeah, yeah, but just that no, it, I mean, it foreshadowed like a world that we are living in living now, in which now. is our entire world. Where everything is, on is here, this. dude. I barely can keep t like the calendar. Like, I don't just. It, I have to. My phone has to tell me when I have to be places, and yeah. I'm just addicted. And to GPS it. people don't literally in their own city don't know where they are where without are, the phone, without the which is crazy to me. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Uh, Marquise Brown. I forget her character's name in the show, but Chandra. Uh, Chandra. Chandra. Yes, yeah, she comes up to me and she's like, right. "Hey, Cookie, she's, how are how you, you doing, doing today?" And I'm like, "I don't know. Let me check." <laughs> and has to I go. check. <laughs> it's like, oh, and it says like, um, "Status check downloading. Three minutes. We'll know in three minutes." Ah. <laughs> Such a funny beat. <laughs> I don't have my She had right that great here. line when she sang goodbye to you. Goodbye, sweet, sweet, sweet Simon. Simon. <laughs> and then you hit her with the, you know you can come to the computer lab. Right? <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then runs off. No, but that, that those were some nice, wholesome scenes. We we got to sit with our head touching like at one time, like we're laid out on a bench or whatever. And I remember that. That was that was interesting. I didn't want to get my head too close to hers. I was a kind of awkward kid, guys. Oh, wow. Um, but she was like, it's okay. You can scoot back some. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Touch it. Dude. <laughs> it's just and then there's this ding. Uh, the chemistry. Of course, Daniel. And I, it's probably because Daniel gets a boner. Like, oh, yeah, super yeah. Easy. I do have those, uh, right? yeah, happenstantial boners that just pop up. He was literally just, just like, just, just uh, skulls touch. Dude, but speaking no, but of boners. It's been amazing. <laughs> Like, speaking of boners, speaking of boners, no, I think this is the backpack episode. Yeah, because I have the Velcro thing, and we'll talk about it in the next episode. But there's this at the end of the backpack episode. You didn't watch, but we get stuck together because I have this Velcro like backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it in the next episode. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah. Yes, we get like stuck together. Mm -hmm. You have this like sweater thing on, and I remember I was like, I'm dreading this. <laughs> so, because what if it happens again? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it in the back at back back episode. Oh my oh, man. god! Or another time and place. Uh, wow! Yes, or another time and place. Wow! The next yes. rewatch. Dang! Yes. Uh, I'm into but it. Back to Rachel. Rachel sitting there. She's so awesome. <laughs> Rachel's Rachel's our always, segue. She's the segue. She's from boners uh, to Rachel. Yes, yes. But um, but yeah. Also in that scene, I had to do like some type of little chin check thing. Oh yeah, you do like the uh, it was see a kid, see a kid type thing. <laughs> And I thought that was like so intimate, and it was. Uh, and then the the director was like, "No, no, 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 dude, just get in there and get get her chin." <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I don't know, that was just random to me, but that was yeah. Computer lab <laughs> tips for computer lab. Who's got some tips? Wow, I I love that. Danielle felt like it was intimacy. That was really yeah, sweet. Just, just I agree. To touch someone else's chin. Just a yeah. chin I did not. Chat. I'm like my chin, hand chin. in her face. No, that's. I know it's very intimate. Yeah, to you're, touch you're, face. you're the tops of your head's already touched. Now, yeah. now a little chin. Hey, there's, that, there's that energy when the vortex opens on there. Yeah, man. That the crown head, chakra, like, crown Aww. chakra's touching. It's better than. Haven't you ever done that? No. You have never touched your head on someone else. Okay, head? I'll just be downstairs, yeah. literally like nuzzling. Ta Gavin's tapping head. heads. Yep. We yeah. gonna tap some heads. You tap heads. <laughs> tap I'm some gonna heads. nuzzle his head. Oh, okay. Turn up. Turn up. Do you that. Wait. We tap heads and we nuzzle heads. Yeah. Turn up. Love in there. that. Bang, the bang. Three bang. best friends oh, oh. anyone hey. could have. Bang, bang. Oh. All right, so our tip for this episode. Who's got a tip? Always blame Brian. <laughs> always blame Brian. <laughs> Brian Shaw, you know what you did. Wasn't there a Lakers player named Brian Shaw? I don't know. Brian Shaw. Yeah, I, I, it, I think so. Yeah, I feel like. And I think I went to his house recently. Yeah. Yeah, he, he farted in Lindsay's computer lab. Yeah, what, what, if, what if he actually is he a is white, scrawny white kid? No, he's actually You were a back big then, tall, Brian. I'm sure you've grown into a. Very strong. Whoever you are, NBA you're player. perfect. <laughs> Got a tip? Please move. Oh, on. a tip, a tip. Um, yes, a tip. 
computers are very powerful and if you give them the right instructions they will do what you say and it's never their fault it's always you human making the error that is the tip my tip very is, cyborg uh, <laughs> my tip is computers and the this phone are taking over our lives do you guys remember um pooping do you remember just sitting there oh pooping Without your phone yep. to scroll on? Yep. Do you guys remember just pooping? That's my tip for you is go have a poop without your phone that and just fucking sit there. Remember that? Beautiful. Remember? Yeah, yeah we can just sit there. That was a very I'm gonna be honest time. with you. Ever since I've gotten the squatty potty, though, it I, I mean, saw the squatty you're just, potty you're at your in, crib. You're out. I was gonna mention it. I'm like, okay, she getting them squats. Squatty in. potty Dude. bidet. Dude. Yeah, anal yeah. health. Right, right. <laughs> but so when you focus on that, you're just like, I'm moving gravity, right? And like, <laughs> like you feel the science product within you. <laughs> wow. And so I kind of, you know, get sucked into that. Instead right. of the phone. Plus, okay. my poops are pretty fast, so oh. I'm not in there for like an especially long time. Yeah. Well, you, you time your poops out. You don't just, right when you get that urge, you don't go You wait till it's ready to Ready go. to come? No, I go right away. It's the squatty Ooh. potty. It opens things. Yeah. It, it, oh, it opens the happen. butt up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cause, yeah. No, because here's the thing. You're, you're not just straining down with pressure. You're actually pushing up, so the pressure's going like this. Like, you're getting, instead of the and pressure just... And it just, just opens yeah. Okay, so these, this is your stuff. It's collapsing it when it's just one pressure, but when it's yeah. two pressures, it's actually opening it. Get it what I mean? It's like counter... <laughs> I, I hear you. I don't know if I want to deny myself the human experience. Welcome to <laughs> analogy with but Lindsay babe, Shaw. it's not the human experience. <laughs> yes. It's actually wrong. So pooping I know, it's doesn't actually have primal. to hurt and be stressful? That. Like exactly. <gasps> Dad, you get what a, I mean, no, right? I get it. It's taking... No, I get it. The, what do you the call science it, is it's taking us back to our primal... Because that's how, the way human I get it, but what, that's you, how we evolved what do you call poop. it? Like, I have no idea. I have this this double pressure <laughs> finger butt situation. <laughs> scissor and, scissor I have butts. no idea. I have no idea. As far as I knew, just like the bending opens things in a nice way. So, but, yeah, so yeah. if you push, okay. So if I push, stop, stop, stop. Gonna, so gonna, if I push my hand down like this, uh -huh. that sucks. That's that's just gonna close this tube. Yeah. But if I go like this and this, oh, this is inflated. Equal and opposite <laughs> reaction, right? <laughs> Turn up. This Thank is like what I tried to convince Lindsay. you guys yes. that I knew all those questions, oh. yeah. but I had just memorized because I had looked at the phone. <laughs> Good Lord. Thank you, Dr. Lindsay. Yes. Uh, we love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for subscribing. Adios. See you next week. Yeah. So hey, nice hey. episode, hey. guys. Hey. Great Woo. job. Woo. Thank you for watching. Thank we love making this podcast. Yes. Thank you to our patrons who make our podcast possible. Thank you yes. for supporting us. Yes. These are our are super, super friends, friends. Yes. top tier patrons. Thank you for showing up. Yes. You get your name scrolled on our video. You are literally helping us make like our dream come true, the dream of this podcast, yes. keeping it like you keeping know, it alive. you're helping yeah. us sustain stay, stay this. Staying in the flow of yeah. you know this cool energy. And so. you viewers at home, you can be one of our super friends. Yeah, go check out our get Patreon, right Patreon.com/slash Ned's Pod. We got different tiers. We do a bunch of BTS live streams. It's a it's a crazy good time. And get your name put. And we can also make gold plaques that will settle down. You. Settle down. Settle That's down. A lot. We're not we're not manufacturing gold plaques. You know what time it is? Oh, what time is oh, it? Oh, you know what time it is? Super friends, oh, super, super friends dance. dance. Oh. Super friends dance. Super friends dance. How do you do it Woo! with the? Oh, oh. You super turn dance. and you pull. Super friends dance. Super friends dance. It's good. Thanks, uh, love you. Thanks for being here. Be here next week. Subscribe, like, comment, share. We love you. Bye.